All right, so I'm going to start this over again because I did it. All right. So for the text on the wrench, I need to create these text boxes. You can't just go straight in and try to uh, draw these letters in. And again, remember, I'm talking about drawing, not writing. Two different things. So I, I can't start drawing those letters until I know where it's got to go first. Okay. So that's where my text is going to go. I'm going to do the same thing I did with Pittsburgh on the wrench. I need to figure out what the middle is of each word. So I have drop, okay? So the middle of the word drop is going to be right between the R and the O. So I need to divide my box in half here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other box. And I'll get that later. And I'm just going to start right here in the middle. And I'm just going to... Make these into bubble letters, basically, or block letters. Depends on your style. Okay, so there's my O and P. There's my R and I'll do my P or my D. So there's drop and then I'm going to do the same thing with forge. I have six letters in that so I need to get the G. Again, if you have to work a bit outside of the box that you created, no worries. You will be close enough. In fact, I'm going to have to add a little bit here to mine. Now, when you're um, sort of drawing the letters like this, it's very easy to misspell, okay? Because you're drawing, not writing. And when you're writing, you're spelling in your head. When you're drawing, you're not. You're looking at the shapes. So please make sure you have it spelled correctly because it's a bummer if it's not. All right, so what I want you guys to do, just continue to work on adding your details and stuff to your drawings. Um, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to start shading today. So it looks like shading will start uh, tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, I'm sorry, Friday. keep forgetting. So just go through, fix things up. I'll try to zoom out here. So you guys can get a good look at everything. <clears throat> okay. So continue with those um, details. Fix stuff up. I didn't even look at my Pittsburgh. It looks like my Pitts is bigger than my Berg, so I need to go in and kind of fix that up so they're rel relatively the same size. So, um, but yeah, so the rest of the time is for you guys to get these in a good place so that you will be ready to shade then on our next class, which is going to be Friday.